Welcome to RPA Institute and Research Center, New Delhi. In this film, we aim to demonstrate an efficient new technique, saving needle microcapsulotomy, to prevent Argentinian flag sign during capsular access in patients with intumescent pearly white major cataracts. The authors have no financial interest in the subject matter of this presentation. The Argentinian flag sign is a self-propagating radial extension of anterior capsular tear which typically arises with an initial puncture of the trepan blue stained anterior capsule in patients with intumescent pearly white major cataracts. These intumescent cataracts have liquefied and partially hydrated swollen lenticular material with an increase in interlenticular pressure and relatively tense stretched anterior lens capsule. And if the tense anterior capsule is punctured either with a needle or with a rexis forceps, it makes way for a sudden outburst of interlenticular pressure with anterior nucleus displacement, triggering off a disruptive force, splitting the initial slit into a complete anterior capsular tear. It is the ultra-sharp stainless steel hypodermic needle or sharp tip capsular axis forceps when pierced the anterior capsule results into a small linear cut with open edges along the entry of the device used. And here you can see how the needle creates a slit in the anterior capsule. Discontinuous linear cut over the stretched tight anterior capsule with underlying high interlenticular pressure tend to easily diverge along the open edges of the linear cut and rapidly radialize to the periphery of the capsule in an undesired and uncontrolled fashion resulting into an Argentinian flag sign. The Argentinian flag sign was first described by Daniel Perron, named after the Argentinian flag due to a distinct phenomena, blending of light blue and white coloration observed from the torn anterior capsule with a central white cataract protruding through the tear. Since discontinuous linear cut created by the bent sharp tip hypodermic needle or with the rexis forceps to initiate the capsular axis is the point of genesis of Argentinian flag sign. We designed and developed a new tool, saving needle microcapsulotome for the initial puncture of a stretched tight anterior capsule. The tip of the saving needle microcapsulotome is similar to saving machine needle system, round, pointed, with very short bevel. Unlike the slit produced by the hypodermic needle, round pointed tip of saving needle microcapsulotome, when pierced, tight and stretched anterior capsule, creates a hole. Now this hole is similar to mini capsular axis with the round continuous circular edge without any discontinuity. The round hole created by the microcapsulotomy do not tear away with this sudden outburst of interlenticular fluid and disruptive force generated by the high interlenticular pressure. Simultaneous evacuation of liquefied cortical material through the hole decompresses the capsular bag and allows for the intralenticular pressure to equilibrate prior to the creation of the capsular axis. Once the decompression is complete, the capsular axis is very safely initiated and completed with the forceps without the risk of peripheral extension of the tear. Overall design of saving needle microcapsulotome is similar to all types of hooks which consists of a round knurled handle and a 60 degree angle distal shaft with the tip. The tip is approximately 0.75 mm in length, 0.4 mm of sharp puncturing point, 0.6 mm in diameter which is angled at 90 degrees in relation to the remaining distal portion. The mode of action of microcapsulotome is similar to saving machine needle system to sew on knit type fabrics where the rounded needle tip slips between the yarns rather than cutting them. Pointed round tip of microcapsulotome penetrate anterior capsule and create a hole without cutting the capsular fibers and prevent pre-evacuation, stellate burst as a result of the high interlenticular pressure and prevent capsular tear extension. We can also make multiple holes for the better action. To achieve successful microcapsulotomy after routine incisions, 
The interior capsule is stained with 0.06% trypan blue dye to enhance the visibility. Ophthalmic viscosurgical devices is injected to maintain deep anterior chamber with appropriate pressures. Using the main or side port corneal incision, the saving needle microcapsulotome is inserted into the anterior chamber. Tip of the hook is placed vertically over the center of the anterior capsule. Under direct visualization, tip is then directed posteriorly perpendicular to the nuclear surface to pierce through the stretched tight anterior capsule. Pressurized interlentricular fluid gushes out as a volcanic eruption through the hole, which decreases the interlentricular pressure and help in decompression of capsular vac. Complete evacuation of interlentricular fluid, including the posterior compartment fluid, is achieved by tapping and pressing the anterior capsule posteriorly with the help of a cannula. Once the capsular vac decompression is complete, the anterior chamber is again filled with cohesive visco to pressurize and flatten the anterior capsule. Capsular axis is then initiated from the central hole and easily completed with the axis forceps without the risk of peripheral extension of capsular tear. To conclude, Argentinian flag sign is the most frequently encountered complication of intermissive mature cataracts. Biggest risk of Argentinian flag sign is the tear propagating around the periphery and extending into the posterior capsule. Discontinuity or loss of posterior capsule may then lead to a series of complications such as vitreous loss, drop nucleus, inability to implant the intraocular lens and corneal endothelial damage from extensive manipulation and extended surgery time. Saving needle microcapsule autonomy with circular round hole puncture of the anterior capsule along with pressure decompression is the simplest of technique which enables us to successfully prevent Argentinian flag sign with very little effort and much easier surgical maneuvers. Initial decompression of capsular back facilitates safe and controlled creation of capsular axis of a desired size with higher level of efficiency and safety. Thank you for being with Saving Needle Microcapsular Autonomy new technique to prevent Argentinian plaque sign in intermissent mature white cataracts.